Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and uh, just uh, promoting Jawbreaker's God King. I'm very excited about getting the review PDF. It's one thing to see all the pages, you know, apart, but to see them all assembled into one file is uh, it kind of makes you see it in a new way. So anyway, um, I got an email where somebody sent me this uh, article, and it's just a cavalcade of cringe, I would call it. This ant. Anthony Gramuglia, he wrote a hit piece uh, about me and some friends like a week or so ago. So it's just going to be good, fun cringe. So uh, for people who don't know, maybe you're just normal and you live a normal life and you haven't really checked out any comic stuff on the internet last four years. Basically, every character who is straight, white, and male has to be replaced or changed in some way. Now, for a while, that sounded like a paranoid fantasy. But over the last few years, it's pretty much every single one. Thor gets replaced by a woman. Iron Man gets replaced uh, by a woman. There's been a strong push to gender, race, or sexuality swap every single character. The other thing is that every straight white male character, their persona ends up becoming a title. So it's not just Spider-Man. It's like the Legion of Spider-Man and 500 million different timelines. So it, if if he retains, you know, if it's still Peter Parker, he will be watered down by there being 20 other people who basically copy him. And then the other thing is the people who copy the originals are always like disrespecting the originals and like roasting them and like degrading them. So it's... You know, if, you know, three years ago someone says this like, oh, you're paranoid. It's like 2019... That's pretty safe to say. So uh, this one is called Biter-Man, How a Tweet Turns Spider-Man into an LGBTQ Hero. So this is an interesting turn of a phrase because it doesn't say he's LGBTQ. Where's the plus, bigot? It's saying he's a hero for them, which he always has been since what, like 1962, whenever he was invented. Every hero is a hero for gay people. Because heroes are good. There's, there's, you can't even go to like 1940s and you're like, hey, we, we stopped those uh, uh, saboteurs in the Navy Yard. And then I kicked some gays down a well. Like, they, they've kind of like just avoided it. You know what I mean? Like, there's never been a phase of like homophobic superheroes. It just doesn't exist. You can go back, you know, to the, the, the 40s and see some characters saying stuff that would be interpreted as as racist in modern times but there's there's no history of like homophobia or like gay hating superheroes so uh spider-man was a gay you know lgbtq hero forever he was a hero for everyone um uh so they say spider-man as we currently know isn't bisexual which is a <laughs> another really interesting phase phrase because what it's saying is he's not bisexual yet one of the biggest problems with SJWs is they don't really care about characters. They just care about narcissism and egomania and attention. One of the things when you change characters, something that's been fundamental to them for decades, um, is you show, I, I don't really care about this character. I, I just want attention. Um, and we'll get into the particulars, but we're found that they're willing to throw out every single you know uh part of a superhero or all of them as long as it suits their agenda spider-man as far as we current oh no it, I, di I didn't even notice it. they said as far as we currently know so maybe in the future or maybe his right now we just don't know well there's these things in comic books called uh thought balloons and they're pretty explanatory they're your thoughts in a balloon above your head that the reader can read we've had 50 years of Spider-Man being straight, interested in women, only interested in women. Um, and the idea that he was secretly bisexual the whole time is just insulting. And it's, it's just, uh, <laughs> I love uh, Young Ripper's, uh, Young, sorry, sound like so old. Young Ripper, Young Ripper's expression whenever they do one of these pandering changes. He just like shakes his head and he just can't even for a second. Um, there has been no canon confirmation either way about it. That's a lot. <laughs> there has been 50 years of confirmation 
that Spider-Man is straight. Only dating women, only interested in women, only falling in love with women, and all of his thoughts about being attracted to anyone are always about women. So he's been confirmed as straight. You're going to say his actions and his thoughts are not... What do you have to do? Do a midichlorian check on him? Somebody uh, somebody uh, asked me uh, in an email, do you think an airport uh, x-ray scanner can see uh, Mr. Fantastic's bones? And I, was, I thought about it. I go, I don't think so. I think the cosmic radiation, I think just his skin. I don't think the x-rays would be able to penetrate it. Um, so... Um, but uh, uh, if there's some uh, gay detecting machine in the Marvel Universe, I, I, I feel confident that the 616 Peter Parker would come out as absolutely straight. Um, many people get very, very upset at the mention of anything pertaining to a non-heterosexual Spider-Man. So that's, again, a lie. If we're talking about 616 Peter Parker, uh, yes, because you're changing something fundamental about a character for no reason other than just agenda and current year ism and it shows you don't actually care about the character yes we know there can be alternate versions yes we know a gay guy in the 616 could start calling himself uh spider-man but these characters become popular because of under who is under the mask people don't generically like anyone in an iron man suit they love tony stark people don't generically love anyone called Captain America or wearing a Captain America suit. They love Steve Rogers. Peter Parker is someone that is very endearing to people. He's supposed to be, you know, the, the everyman and or, you know, the the average person. So that's how people identify with him. Um, however, at the same time, there seems to be a pretty vocal subsection of the LGBTQ plus comic fandom that wants to see Peter Parker get a boyfriend or at the very least feel attraction toward a man no so and so he he does actually not define it a, a pretty vocal subsection is quite accurate now the big deal is would be what percentage um if it's geez 60 70 80 percent of of gay comic book fans want to see peter parker be gay that's actually significant and that would actually probably bear you know like a meeting at, at uh marvel it's like hey like wow like our, our gay um fans really want him to be gay like or bisexual really like it's it's like an ongoing thing they're very interested in it. and like have a conversation about it at least but i've you know i've talked to people and, I, and i've seen the comment i've seen so many gay people go what no stop he's straight the thing is if you change something you're you're just saying nothing matters it's not just you can you can bend these characters. There are no pieces to them. They're just blobs. Just you know, take this Play-Doh and replace it with some other play. -Doh. Nothing matters. We don't care. Um, and it doesn't have to be the Earth Six One Six Spider-Man. There's an entire multiverse of Spideys to choose from. Well, I'm there. They're, if all of the multiverse, you know, Dan Slott had to do the uh, oh Spider-Man's a title type of thing. If there are zero gay superheroes calling them spider-man in the established multiverse i mean i guess like put it into an annual or something this is a gay spider-man from universe six one two like but again it's kind of a shaggy dog story what if there was a gay spider-man i don't know he'd probably be gay i don't like do you have a story <laughs> does, does this character have a personality or does he at least have like a really awesome costume i'm guessing no to all three. But why, out of all of Marvel's supposedly straight heroes, has Spider-Man in particular attracted this kind of speculation? So, not really. I mean, there's a whole, you know, contingent to draw you know, every character that's straight as gay. Um, so, it's, it's more of like, when did this thing that I'm making a thing become a thing? I don't know, just like right now in this article. Um, so, uh... Oh, this is a real... I think I'm going to just skip around. So they bring up stuff like an actor. An actor, you know, in current year or recent current year being asked, what if Spider-Man was gay? What do you think about that? What What is the only answer they're allowed to give without being absolutely, completely destroyed? I don't mean just destroyed on their... But like kicked out of Hollywood and even like haunted and hunted down if they decide to like mow lawns for a living. 
You have to, it's non-committal. He's not a producer. He's not a writer. He's not a director. He's not, hey, what do you think about a gay Spider-Man? Yeah, sure, whatever. I don't care. I'm an, I'm an actor. Yeah, whatever. I, I, I literally don't care. Um, Peter's Two Dads. So this one gets really weird because it's like a, again, a Marvel Studios thing. They kind of wrote Uncle Ben out of the, you know, the entire like emotional push for the spider-man character since the early 60s is gone and now he's effectively a groupie of iron man's which is just weird on so many levels he got spider powers he ended up being in the avengers but all he cares about is literally getting texts from tony stark a 50 year old man that's weird <laughs> wow that's, i didn't even start on how many levels that's weird about um so basically they say that there's people who want to ship uh, again, you know, people wanting Peter to be gay is not anything because since fandom has been begun, there's always been shipping. Oh, you know, what if the, what if Tony Stark and what if they're gay? Okay, so you got you know a died in the world ladies man with an old fashioned you know guy from World War II, probably the least likely you know two men to ever be gay and be in a relationship. Just fine, whatever. What if a toaster was gay? What if a ceiling fan was gay? What if a freaking cell phone was gay? Just whatever. You can what if anything. It doesn't really mean anything. Um, so they just show, then it's like they're, Peter Parker's their kid. Okay, so uh, then this is just dumb. It's just people just doing like a song. I mean, that's fine, whatever, but it's not really any big deal. Um, so then they're talking about queer coding and saying stuff like Spider-Man having rolled cuffs on his pants is coding for being bisexual because that's listed on this tweet that had 78,000 likes. I'd... Okay. Uh, then they, they showed this rhyme like four times, which is just weird. Um, I swing both ways. Okay. Uh, so now it's just a me bunch of memes. So... Um, all this was just a spot of fun, of course. However, in many respects, what made fans more adamant about bisexual Spider-Man was the immediate backlash. Again, this is the, we're going to do something to bother people, and then we're going to use you being bothered to prove X, Y, or Z. It's like they got that, that Greta girl where they're like, they use a child as their spokesman knowing that if you ever argue against anything she says, you're like, oh, you're, you're attacking a child. It's like, well, you're using one. It's <laughs> so, like, which one's worse? Um, uh, but uh, a small but vocal portion of fans are against the divers diversification of iconic characters, acting as though by a character coming out as part of the LGBTQ plus community, that something that belonged to them is taken away. Well, there is, like, I always talk about, like, when I, I, a lot of, like, really good characters, I bought, like, the first issue, they like Gambit, um, uh, Tim Drake, uh, Robin, uh, Cable, uh, not Cannonball, uh, um, Deadpool, Domino. Um, so like, I feel like, you know, I'm not, obviously I didn't create them, but I helped create the success of them. <laughs> it's kind of a stretch, but the characters actually, actually matter to me, especially ones I've, I've, you know, I've liked, you know, throughout my life. And the care it's not mix and match you know it's your sexuality isn't a hair color if all of a sudden you know peter parker starts you know putting some sun in his hair and his hair is like blonde it's just gonna be like why but it's not like a huge like but saying like he's gay and he was lying to all these women or he was bi but we've never seen it but it was secretly there which was infuriating when they did it with with uh, uh what do you call it iceman because it was so condescending it was so patronizing. Oh, he was bisexual all the time. Uh, just uh, he didn't tell anyone. Oh, and now he's like 100% gay. It's like, what? do they see it as like a, you know, a uh, manual transmission car? It's like, okay, first gear is straight. Second gear, <laughs> second gear is uh, bisexual and third gear. Like, you know, you got to level up. Um, even with canonically bisexual characters, fans are often in denial about it if this aspect of them isn't referenced every waking second well if any character is canonically bisexual some sjw on twitter is going to be reminding people every single second is selena kyle uh bisexual i don't remember reading any stories where she was and it would be a pretty huge coincidence for both her and harley quinn and 
Poison Ivy, or is Poison Ivy, she's just like a lesbian. And Batwoman. <laughs> there's a reason they have to keep adopting wards. <laughs> like, there's no heterosexuality in that whole franchise. Um, it's just one of those things, like I said, one of the big, you know, uh, uh, motivations for an SJW to create a character is for the attention they get with it. Then they really don't know what to do with it, so they just create an another one. That's why we see, like, with black women in comic books right now, like, half of them are lesbians because they create them and they're like, I just created a black woman. And everyone's like, no one cares. And they're like, she's a lesbian. And everyone goes, eh. And they're like, oh, I got that attention I wanted. Oh, look at the haters. It's like, do you care about anything but, <laughs> but just attention? Um, so then, uh, so they said, Tom... Holland has said more than once that he is open to the idea of a gay Spider-Man. Of course, he doesn't want to be homeless. He doesn't want his, his whole life to be destroyed. Um, so here's just some guy. Oh, I actually did a video on this like two, two months ago where he kind of went through it. Um, uh, so the core criticism that a bisexual Spider-Man erases decades of history of the character dating women erases what being bisexual is. Well, you erased what being bisexual was with Iceman. You didn't have a problem with that. They said, oh, he's bisexual. They're like, uh, oh, really? It's like, yeah, he only dates men. He only ever liked men. And he's, he's like a super, like, effeminate flamer. It's like, that, that, <laughs> that erased bisexuality. Like, uh, no, it's not, you're not, it's not erasing something when it was never there, ever. Um, so then they do this, just some dumb, you know, uh, what is it called? Straw manning. Okay, so is that the end? All right, wrap that one up pretty quickly. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll let, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really have much to say. It's just this weird thing where they want something to be changed, and then when you change it, you're going to immediately just lose all interest. Like uh, Ethan said very wisely one time, he's like, you know, if you made Spider-Man trans, the average normie wouldn't get all up in arms. They would just go that's great and then never think of spider-man again because you've given yourself away you've given away that you don't really care about spider-man you just care about whatever is the attention oh you know, two years two years from now why aren't why aren't there any pakistani uh american x-men oh uh, duh, duh, peter parker has dark hair we never said he wasn't pakistani american oh he's been pakistani american it's, it's like that thing with uh jk rowling where she like <laughs> reverse engineered everyone to be like super woke they're like uh uh hermione was a uh, black uh, really it, it, cause, oh yeah we said she had wavy hair in like one sentence in like one of the earlier books it's like <laughs> okay uh but pretty sure robert downey jr has wavy hair robert downey jr is black he never he never did black face he was black the whole time that is a very intense face that's intense. That's kind of mild. Yeah. Smoldering. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, whatever. Not all the videos are going to be great. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the GoFundMe and the Indiegogo. You're funding original content. And uh, I'll, I'll probably do another video tonight. This one was kind of... Uh, yeah. It's okay. It's fine. Thanks for watching.